the air brake from Oakley and the view from Fox Racing, two of the best premium goggles out there. And today I'm putting them head to head. All right, everyone, thanks for checking in. So on the table today, there are two of my favorite goggles. You've got the air brake from Oakley and the view from Fox Racing. I've spent a lot of time in these personally. So today I wanna to put these head to head and give you my feedback and talk about how these compare in a lot of different categories to help you decide which one is gonna be best for you. With the air brake, this goggle has been around for a while, about seven or eight years now. But when this goggle first came out, it completely changed the game and motocross goggles, it just did. They were the first ones to come out with an injection molded well, lens, which means it's optically correct. Their lens changing system that they call switch lock is phenomenal. And even with all the goggles that have come out after the air brake, I think it still has the best lens changing system. The view is awesome. You have the prism lens technology. It is a rock solid goggle. And now you have the view from Fox Racing. They built this goggle with Ken Roxon. He was their test rider. He was giving them all his feedback when they were building this. And I think that this goggle goes toe to toe with the air brake. But with all the categories that we're gonna cover, there's some categories where I think the air brake's better. There's some categories that I think the view is a little bit better. So that's what this video's purpose is, is just to help you decide which one's gonna be best for you. So let's get started. First up, price point, and then we'll talk about fit. So the price on these, that's going to be a big deciding factor for a lot of people with the air or excuse me, with the view, you're about 125 to 135 bucks. That's going to depend on the colorway that you're going after. There's going to be some limited edition options with the air brake. This is a spendy goggle. And that's one of the bigger complaints that people have is why hasn't Oakley lowered the price on these because they start out at full retail about 160 bucks for just a standard clear lens. And then they go north of $200 for some of the different colorways with that prism lens technology. And we'll talk more about that prism lens here in just a little bit, but there is a pretty substantial price gap between these two. Now, as far as the fit goes with both of these, this is one thing that I really like about these goggles. They are about even as far as how they fit. They are both super comfortable. They're not too wide. They're not too narrow. They just rest naturally right onto my face. I get a good seal all the way around and they actually both fit really similar. And here's why I think they do. Because Ken Roxon, before he helped Fox build the view goggle, he rode in the Oakley air brake. And I know for a fact that he really liked the air brake goggle. So it's no surprise to me that when he was helping Fox build the view that he said, Hey, I want it to feel like an air brake because they do fit very similar. And like I said, very comfortable goggles. When you put these on, they just rest really naturally right onto my face. I've had a lot of other riders try these on as well. And they agree. They both have a very similar fit to them. So if you've ridden in an air brake, just know the view is going to fit similar and vice versa. Like I said, the fit on these is so comparable. It's kind of hard to tell which one you're putting on, but you got to remember that we do have our fit guarantee. So no matter which one of these you buy or any goggle for that matter, if you're not happy with how it fits, you can send it back in brand new unused condition. We'll give you free shipping both ways on your first exchange, just to make sure you get the size and the fit that you are looking for. Let's talk about vision and safety. Now with both of these, they have an injection molded lens. And what that means is that they are optically correct. The lens is already curved when it goes into the frame of the goggle. And if you've never tried on an injection molded lens and a traditional Lexan lens that you bend when you put it into the frame, I'm going to tell you right now, there is a difference. Is it a deal breaker? Not necessarily, but the clarity from an injection molded lens is going to be better than with a standard Lexon lens. And that's why with these premium goggles, you, de you do see those higher price points. However, you gotta remember Oakley, these guys have been in the game for a super long time. And I think that their name is just synonymous with really good lenses. Because with their prism technology, what this is, is it helps increase the contrast as you look through it. And it just helps have, it helps give the rider better vision. Here's a couple scenarios. If you're riding a track and you're on, you're going through a rut, you're going to have some darker dirt, maybe some lighter dirt that's dried out. It just helps you see that contrast a little bit better just to help increase your vision. So it's a really crisp lens. And I have to admit that it's hard to beat the clarity and the quality of an Oakley lens. It just is. The view is really, really good, but I would give the slight edge to the air brake in that category. As far as your vision goes, as far as peripheral and up and down, these two are really, really close. Again, very similar as far as their fit goes. If I had to give the slight edge to either one of these in that category, as far as just overall vision, I'd go with the view. But again, we're splitting hairs here because it is a very small difference. I just feel like with the view, I can't see as much of the frame in the top and bottom. I feel like I can see just a little bit more out of my sides. 
Now, as far as safety goes with these, being that they are injection molded lenses, they both have very good impact protection. They're going to have better protection than just a traditional Lexan lens. And when you put these lenses in, they lock into place. So as far as roost goes, any sort of branches, things like that, you're going to have really good protection for your eyes. Now, if we talk about lens changing system, this is one category where the air brake takes the cake. And I already talked about it earlier. Since the goggle came out, it still has the best lens changing system, which just shows you Oakley crushed it on their first try. The way this works is this simple. When you want to change the lens on an Oakley, all you got to do is just take this tab, pull it down, pops right open. That quick. You're going to do it on the other side. As soon as you do that, the lens pops off. You can put another lens back on. So you can literally change a lens in less than 30 seconds without actually touching the lens itself. You can just grab the outer edge. You don't smudge it up. So when you're changing your lens or cleaning it, super easy to do. I love that. Now with the view, not as good as the air brake, but it's pretty dang close. They have what they call their true lock technology. And all it is, is the outriggers actually spin off. I'll do one right now. Watch this. So the outrigger just turns right off. You have these two posts on the outside of the lens. That's what the outrigger is locked onto. So you do that on both sides and then you can just take this outer edge, pop the lens off, put it back on. Really simple to do. So that is your lens changing system. Now let's move on and talk about venting. Now this might sound silly, but this is actually one of the big deciding factors that I would consider if I was looking at both of these goggles and here's why. The view, it's a little bit better. I've never had any issues as far as venting goes on the view. With the air brake, however, this to me is the biggest nemesis with this goggle. And this is coming from me and a lot of other riders here who, have, who own these goggles. They just don't vent as good as other goggles that are out there. When I ride in the air brake and I get done riding, when I'm hot and I'm sweaty, it doesn't matter if it's cool or hot outside, I have to take them off right away because they start to fog up quickly. So to me, that is my biggest critique of the air brake. They're just not the best venting goggle. But there's a remedy to that. We do offer the mountain bike version of the air brake, same exact goggle, feature for feature. The only difference between these is that on the top of the mountain bike version, you have this mesh screen. It is a lot, it's gonna allow a lot more airflow to come in. So for slower technical riding, or if you ride in cooler temperatures and you're worried about fogging, this is gonna do a better job than the just regular MX version. But if you're doing high speed riding, if you're a motocross guy, a desert guy, like I said, as long as you're moving, you're gonna be fine, especially in dusty conditions, that mountain bike version is not gonna filter out, filter out the dust nearly as good, then I would just go with the standard option. But you got two options depending on the type of riding that you're going to be doing. Now, some other things to talk about. These both are gonna come with an outrigger system. If you're not familiar with outriggers or the purpose they serve, I will explain. So outriggers, you can see when these are in the helmet, the straps attach to the outrigger versus the frame. And what that allows us to do is just give a better consistent seal all the way around the rider's face when you have it, the goggle on inside the helmet. So that's a premium feature. You've got tear off posts on all the lenses. The third tear off post on, on both of these is gonna be here on the left outrigger. Both of these are gonna come with a pack of just standard tear offs, but you can buy laminated tear offs if you want to. Another great feature about these that I think is pretty dang cool is that when it comes to roll offs, with both of these, you can just buy a roll off system separately and install it right onto this goggle. You don't have to buy a completely separate goggle with roll-offs installed. You just buy the kit and slap it on. So that's gonna save you some money as well. As far as the straps go, on the air brake, you're gonna have a 40 millimeter strap. On the view, it's gonna be 45. Last thing I will point out, one of the differences is that with the air brake on the MX version, you do have a nose guard that will come included. You can just pop that off if you want to. Quick thing I do wanna point out though is that the mountain bike version will not come with that nose guard. And with the views, none of these will come with a nose guard. So might be one thing you do want to consider. But other than that, these are both really good goggles. You've got a ton of really good colorways with both of these. That's never something you have to worry about with Fox or with Oakley. And they're both so good. And that is it. That is my versus of the air brake from Oakley and the view from Fox Racing. Both phenomenal goggles. You could not go wrong with either one of these. Now, I know there's a lot of people who are going to be asking me, Chase, which one would you choose if you could only choose one? It's a very tough decision. I love the air brake. I love the clarity of the prism lens. I think it's the best out there. I love their lens changing system, but I'd probably go with the view just because you've got that lower price point. The clarity is phenomenal, super comfortable goggle. And I like that these do vent better than the air brake. 
That's my opinion. What do you guys think? Do you have some of these? Do you have both? I want to hear what you guys would think. Which one of these would you choose if you could only choose one? That's going to help other riders out who are looking to pick up a set of these. But to pick one up, you can click on the link or head over to RockyMountAtvMC.com. All orders are 75 bucks ship free. If you guys like this versus, we got a lot more just like it. And I want to know what goggles you guys want to see up here going head to head. Give us your suggestions below because we want to see what you're thinking. I'm Chase here at Rocky Mountain and we'll see you on the trails.